Tim Deco. I'll get him for this. Please restrain the patient. He's incorrigible. I'm sorry, you must be... Ah, uh, yes, I think I know who you are. Bakugo is in a serious condition. Even though he doesn't realize it, he needs to relax. Can you calm him? <laughs> Damn it. Fine. Fine. Just get me out of here quick. I'm afraid that's not an option. You've been gravely wounded. You've broken three ribs inward and they've stabbed through your lung. It's gonna take at least a week if we can get recovery, girl. <clears throat> Damn it! I can't afford a week. Isn't there some other way? I'm afraid not. But at least you have your life. It wasn't critical, though breathing might be a little hard. As for you, I don't know what he did. Tell him not to do it again. His body, through the years, has had so many injuries. If he keeps this up, he may have permanent damage. And I know neither you nor him want that. So please, do it for him. I know he's not in a good state of mind. Just try and get him to relax. I know that... That's... I get it, okay? You both don't need to talk to me like I'm some dense idiot. But there's one thing I'm not doing. You patched me up. And I'm going out of here. But you can't. If you do that, you're going to... Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Get the sedative. Sedative? What? What do you mean? <laughs> Damn it. You're all just gonna... do this to me. I'm very sorry about that, but it was the only way to ensure he didn't make his injuries worse. And if he does do anything crazy, he may have permanent injury. Then whatever goals he has as a hero, well, those will be nothing but the past. So you keep that in mind. As his other half. It's your responsibility, too. Make sure you control him. No, I just mean... If he gets out of hand, make sure that you... That you... Don't let him get hurt. My own love... Sadly, didn't listen to me. So I have a bit of a passion about it. I don't want to see good people die. And I don't think you want to lose him either. Alright, so... For now, just leave him with us. He'll rest for a bit. Perhaps you should go for a walk. You've been... up here a while. And by the way... My name is Amelia. I understand you're worried. 
and I want to help. So if you need anything, you can call me at this number. I can't promise I'll be available all the time, but I'll be sure to call you if anything happens. Any updates, and I swear I'll call you. So go get some rest. Or if you have some friends waiting, go spend some time with them. Goodbye now. Hey there. I came as soon as I heard. You didn't expect me, did you? I get it. Me and Bakugo weren't very close. But that doesn't change. The fact he's one of us. Alright. In, in case you don't know me real well, the name's Satoshi Shinso. And I came to you for two reasons. There's someone that you need to be very careful of. If you go outside this hospital, don't do it alone. It's not worth it, honestly. You'd be putting your life at risk and giving away the fact that Baka goes this wounded. So I have a question too. If you don't mind me asking. This was done by... It was done by Midoriya, wasn't it? You don't need to tell me. I'm as surprised as you are, but... There's just... No telling what's gonna happen next. I feel like everyone's losing touch. And also I discovered something. Something that I really didn't want to know. But I need to tell you in case anything happens to me. No, it's not likely that anything will. Just that if I don't tell you, it's not likely to, well, go anywhere. And if it doesn't go anywhere, it could be even more dangerous. There's someone at UA. One of the teachers. Aizawa. I don't trust the guy. Something happened recently. I think he has some sort of... involvement in that thing that happened with... Todoroki. I don't know if you've heard, but his sweetheart got poisoned, something real bad. I was over here around the time, and strangely, Aizawa went missing. It wasn't for long, not long enough that he could be the culprit, no. But he disappeared for a while. No, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But I smell something fishy. And I don't need to tell you. This whole thing with Midoriya. It's all so out of place. Like we're missing something. So yeah. I just had to tell you. Be careful around him. I could be wrong, but... It's just a hunch. Anyways, wanna go get some food or something? I'm currently waiting on my, my very own sweetheart. I'd like you two to meet, but it's a little difficult. Sometimes I, I feel like it's a dangerous place. Well... In any case, we can go across the street. I've had some troubles of my own. I guess you could say 
that my past didn't stay buried. Now I'm trying to deal with it. You know, someone else who helped me recently. I didn't expect it. At least from a villain like him. But Kurogiri. I think that guy really turned around. It throws me off. What's really a villain anymore? Who's a hero? Everything's mixed up. And the world is just falling apart. And honestly, I don't know what to make of it. Sometimes I think. What's the point of all this? If they're just gonna tell us in the end. That someone's just pulling the strings. Like we're all just puppets in a show. I hate that feeling. But I kind of feel like... Someone set these things in motion. Then again... I'm about as clueless as they come right now. Just little breadcrumbs to taunt me. Anyways... Here, have a coffee. So, you mind telling me what those two talked about? Hmm. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. Deep down from a long time ago. I saw it coming. That Midoriya would end up going off the deep end for all might. Can't blame the poor fellow, though. Mostly because it was like he disappeared so quickly. He just got erased. But is that really all that happened? I guess I can sympathize with Midoriya in that way. It seems like Izuku. Maybe he knew something. Or maybe he really did go crazy. It's hard for me to figure it out. From what you've explained, it definitely seems like he's been pressured. But by who? Who gave him the information? Why'd they give it to him? That's really the question. I came as fast as I could. Is everything all right? Classmates, I heard the news. Is Bakugo going to be all right? Oh, it's been a while. Good to see you're well. Especially with everything that happened. First Kurishima, then Bakugo. Ah. It's been a headache. But hey, it's good to see an old friend. I could not agree more. In these trying times, we must stick together. Lest we be separated. And slain like dogs. I suppose that's true. So were you just here to check on him, or...? I had something... I needed to discuss with you. Oh, with me specific? Not exactly. I fear it may be something of a misunderstanding, but I found a piece of Midoriya's hero outfit at the scene where those bombs went off. I, I do not want to suspect a classmate of such heinous acts, even in these trying times, but I... Give it a break. Because he's... probably guilty. He's the one who hurt Bakugo. You're... sure about that? That's a heavy accusation. Hitoshi. I... need you to confirm. 
You know for certain. Then why don't you ask this one? Your sweetheart knows the details. Is it true? Did Midoriya truly injure Bakugo like that? And then the rumors are true. I did not wish to believe this, and part of me still refuses. I... My friend! How did you get to this point? When did it happen? Most likely when... All Might. I... Was deeply wounded then, too. But knowing... That Midoriya... He hailed him as... A father he never had. And to think... After everything, he discovered that. The nail in the coffin. I feel so horribly about it. And to think that Midoriya even was responsible for the death of All for One. His... Shut up. We don't know that for sure. Ida, now's not the time for any of that. I suppose you're right. But it's hard not to think about it. Because there's so much that we do not know. What's more, it worries me. Hiroshima is still... I know. He's not... showing... complete signs of recovery yet. Isn't there something more we can do? Just standing around. It feels like... our very essence as heroes. That it's been taken away by this madness. I cannot stand it. There must be something we can do. The only thing I could think of is a lead, and it's not an easy one. Go on. What is it? Hitoshi, if you know something, you are among friends. We would never share the information. Isn't that right? Exactly. Well... If anyone's going to have any information on this, it's going to be Kurogiri. And if Kurogiri doesn't know, I don't even know what to tell you. We'll have to dig much deeper. What's more, another thing that bothers me, there's a itch in the back of my mind that there's something... Wait a sec. What if... Midoriya's getting blackmailed? What do you mean? H Hitoshi, wh what are you... What if... That green idiot... Got himself in a bad situation. Looking too desperate. Going too far. What if he caught himself... In some kind of a... Rock in a hard place. I'd like to believe... He wasn't trying to kill Bakugo. But from what I heard of the injury... If he hadn't blocked... Let's not overthink it. Hitoshi. It would be terrible of us to... Assume that... Midoriya would go so far... At that point, it would make me wonder if... If the piece of his costume you found linked him to the explosions. Yes, that was precisely what I was thinking. I think it's too early to assume something like that. But instead of assuming, why don't we retrace our steps? We might as well make something of the day. 
us sitting around isn't going to fix anything. But my gut tells me Aizawa's got his hands in this. But why would you say that? Aizawa has sacrificed so much for UA, for heroes. If not for him, our class would have died. I'm not saying he's some kind of horrible person. It's just he's been acting strange lately. Don't get me wrong, I never knew the guy like that. But I've heard rumors, and they're not ones that are easy to shrug off. Also, we're gonna have to be careful. Look, there's somebody I need to tell you both about. That's fine. Please, we are all ears. Not literally, of course. There's someone who's going to come at me relentlessly. It's not in the manner you think. They're not so much after me as everyone around me. It's... Their name is Nell. And... It's important and difficult to word this. But... If you see them, you can use lethal force. It'll only stun them. What do you mean? Do they have some kind of a quirk? There must be a logical explanation. Yeah, it's not that easy. But Nell has a regeneration quirk. Basically, whatever you do, it's going to recover in ten seconds or so. You gotta lose her. If she comes after you, careful, she's relentless. That's why I need to make sure she doesn't see us together. Otherwise, she'll have more targets. I already have my hands full keeping her off of one. It sounds difficult. I'm so sorry. It sounds like... We've all had our difficulties lately. I think my lucky stars, mostly my situation, has not degraded. Not so much. <laughs> well, why don't you rub it in our face? I had no such intent. It, it was nothing of the sort. I apologize. You know, I was just messing with you, right? I see. Then, very well. I have something I must take care of with this information. I must find Midoriya. Hey, Ida. Are you sure that's a good idea? I'm afraid it must be done, Itoshi. Not because of any other reason than I still believe in him. No amount of facts will make me doubt my friend. And if he should strike at me, I will run with a heavy heart. But know precisely what needs to be done. You always were pretty brave, weren't you? I guess I admire that of you. You're heroic, aren't you? Tanya Ida. A living legend, if you ask me. Your words humble me. I shall try and live up to them. You have my word. As a member of the proud Ida family, I... Just shut up and go already. You always do this. Oh... Pardon the redundancies, I just... I feel strongly about it. Don't need to explain to me. 
You're all good, bro. Then I shall take my leave. And for you, take this. It is a contingency in case of emergency. It will bring all the Ida family has to offer. And please give my condolences to Bakugo. I will see to it that he and you and this entire city remain safe. It is my duty as well as my pride. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Not that we don't appreciate it, of course. And just like that, he's off. Hmm. I agree. He's a good guy. I'm glad to have him as one of my friends. Moreover, you know, I'm not the easiest person to get along with. But thank you. I could never imagine handling all this alone without friends. I hope you'll count me as one of them. Oh, it looks like Soon there's going to be company. Moreover, a rainstorm. For now, why don't you go check on Bakugo? I have something I need to do. But take care of yourself. And tell Bakugo to do the same. Or I'll kick his ass. Yeah, you can use those exact words. I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of anyone anymore. Because fear is just weakness in disguise. And you shouldn't be afraid either. We're all gonna get through this together. It's just one step at a time. You understand? So take care. Blink twice, but remain normal. Ah, oh, good. Time is of the essence. Bakugo's life is in danger. And you are the only one I can trust with these words. Do not make a move. But I need you to do something. His life in that hospital will end within the next 24 hours. It is up to you to rescue him. I will aid you where I can, but the only direct exit I can give you is if you manage to walk him to the street. Now, I don't know how you'll do it, but it's imperative that you do. I'm doing what I believe in, and I sincerely hope you believe me, for Bakugo's sake. You need him, and so do I. There is a finite time limit. Go rescue him, but do so in a way that doesn't garner much attention. We don't want the enemy to know much is going on. Find an excuse. Make it work. If something happens, you know what to do. There is one more thing I would ask of you. Please rescue a doctor by the name of Amelia. Not only does she prove extremely important to your cause, but she is in grave danger as well. If you leave things as they are, she will die in Bakugo's place. And I do not wish to see blood shed this day. Thank you. Now go. I came to get you. Baku goes up, so... Wh what? Oh, let's go. You were tugging at me, so I... It's okay. I'm not exactly concerned or anything. Why do you look like that? You must be really worried about Bakugo, aren't you? 
It's really difficult seeing someone you care about in such a state, isn't it? I was in your shoes last time. Watching someone I care about. Just... Well... I hope you can understand. I'm not saying I know how it feels. But I am saying I've been there. Everyone handles things differently. And I like to think that I've got things in control. Just a bit. I'm not perfect or anything, but... Well, in any case, we're here. Um, would you like me to leave you alone with Bakugo? Oi. Well, uh, what's going on? Don't make a scene? Oh. Okay. I'll just be right back. Um. So, if you'll excuse me. What's up, dumbass? Don't go worrying over me. I'm perfectly fine. Just look at me. We're gonna be okay. As soon as I get out of this hospital, I'll... You want to go out and get something to eat? Damn straight I do too. <sighs> yeah, you're right. They can't keep me in here. I hate hospitals. And they don't even have good food. We're gonna eat. Like we're royalty. Got it? Yeah, that's right. That's the spirit. Come on. We're going. What do you mean, don't make a scene? I don't make a scene. And... Well, if you look at me like that, dumbass, I'll keep it low profile. Hello, uh, Bakugo. You shouldn't be walking around like that. It's dangerous. Ah, shut up. I'm just going out to get some food. I really don't recommend that. As someone taking care of you, and as a doctor in training, please. Sorry, but I gotta do this. Okay. At least let me get the paperwork first. Y you're not stopping us? Different attitude than before, isn't it? Well, let's just say... I understand. It can be lousy being cooped up here, and you're a free-spirited person. I once knew someone just like you. Well, isn't that just a story? Well, you seem like a good person yourself, so... <sighs> What do you mean? Huh? I have to come with you? I'm a little bit confused. But... Okay. Would you mind explaining to me what's going on here? And why are we taking her to go get food? Mm. I get it. So it's something's... Never mind. Let's just get a move on. Whoa there, Bakugo. You should stay in bed for a while, shouldn't you? Ugh, Aizawa. Don't get in my way. I'm just getting some fresh air. You're always such a teacher about things, aren't you? Well, I can be. But I need you to stay put. It's dangerous outside right now. Really? What do you mean by that? Basically, if you go out too far, I won't be able to keep my eye on you. And what if a villain comes? You'll be defenseless. Unless you plan on fighting them with a broken rib. I guess you got a point, but... 
I really just want to get some fresh air. You never learned how to heed a warning, did you, Bakugo? Not from the very start. Well, suit yourself. Hey, what the hell? Why are you in my way? Move it, old man. <laughs> what the hell is this? What are you trying to do? Ugh. But here I was trying to let you walk. Well, I guess what they say is true. Curiosity kills the cat, doesn't it? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Aizawa, what's the smoke? It's nothing too serious. Just a new concoction I got whipped up. Knocks out everyone but who I'm looking at. Consider yourself a guinea pig. Hmm. Well, that's an unintended side effect. Looks like all three of you ended up in my field of vision. Mr. Aizawa, certainly there's some kind of mistake here. Won't you just let us get the food and we'll be back later? You don't understand what you've got yourself into, do you? Hey, watch out! Damn it, Aizawa! What are you doing? You're just gonna choke innocent people? What the hell is going on with you? Look, I don't even care about that anymore. You're just acting strange. Now put down the damn nurse! Look, it's nothing personal, but... You three have to go. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Put her down already, damn it! Damn it, you grumpy old man! Not so fast. Bakugo, you've got no power and your body's almost about to break apart. What makes you think you could do anything to me? So why don't you just watch? Like a good little boy. Stop this! You call yourself a hero? You're gonna kill an innocent civilian? You're a disgrace! You're... terrible! Don't get so riled up, Bakugo. You might hurt yourself. You're no match here. What of you, the third musketeer? You look awfully angry, but I bet you can't land anything on me. Go ahead. Why don't you try? What'll happen? Will you save them before they choke out? Or will I just kill them in front of you? Dumbass! Get out of here! Well, at least I up. Come on! Don't make the same mistake twice! <laughs> it hurts me just as much to see this. As it does to kill that. Well, what's it gonna be? You've got no quirk to face me. It's not like you could stop me even if you could. What did you do? You'll pay for that one. What? What the hell is with your fighting skill? Thanks, babe. That was too close. Make a break for it. We gotta run and gun. Keep going. We're almost there. Damn it! I gotta blow it! You're not getting away that easy. Look out! He's got a gun! Get down! 
I will escort us out of here. Get inside now. We made it. That was too close. What the hell is going on? It hurts pretty bad. Doctor, do you think you can fix me? Amelia, no! Colonel Theory, is that you? Yes. What did they do to you? This is terrible. You're losing so much blood. Please, do something, you two. Put pressure on the wound. We, we must treat... No, do not speak, Amelia. Please, we've only just been reunited. I always knew you'd come back. Damn it, how'd you stop the blood? Uh, it's not in a good spot, I don't think. Be quiet. Amelia, don't give up. Don't give up again. We've only just met again. There must be something. Anything we can do. Colonel Geary, teleport us to a different hospital. Come on, there has to be a way. We can't stop thinking about it. We don't have time. I only know of one who could save her at this point, so I will. Please do not hold this against me. Bakugo, grab her and go through the portal. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Come on. Where are we? It doesn't look like a hospital, it- Why, I've just been having so many guests lately. Welcome, welcome. What can the humble Shigaraki do for you today? Shigaraki, I need to ask a favor. That's funny. A riot, actually. Coming from someone who abandoned me. I understand your ire. But that was then. This is now. Please. As a friend. <clears throat> Why do you have to put it that way? You're making me feel all tingly inside and I don't like it. Alright. I assume that's the favor. Fine. Bring her over here. We'll see if we can do something. Ooh, that's a nasty wound. Here we get it. Just get on with it. She doesn't have much time. You aren't seriously rushing me, are you? Because you need to step out of line. Oh wait, you already did. Now shut up before I change my mind. We're gonna need this and this. Buck and go. I beg of you, do not. I understand even if you don't say it. It's not easy. Hmm. My looks of it, you need some treatment too, Bakugo. Want me to fix up that injury for you? I don't trust you. Oh, that's kind of mean. Why would I hurt you? That's too boring. I kind of got bored of that after all that shenanigans with All Might. <clears throat> I'll consider it after I see what you do to her.
Tomura Shigaraki. Can you save her? My... My... Daughter. That depends, Wispy. It really depends. Part of it is her will to live. Though I'd imagine this fateful reunion would give her more reason. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. So just a little bit here, a shot there, and here we go. Pull the lever! I think you'll do great at that, Bakugo. You're practically my assistant now. Uh, which lever, dumbass? I don't... S oh. Okay, fine. Oh, you did it! I think she's alive! <laughs> okay, this isn't that dramatic. It's just a gunshot wound. I've healed worse. I kept a severed head alive for three months once. It was my science fair project for Dad. That's delightful. If she lives, I'll consider giving you something worth your while. If she does not, Tomura Shigaraki, then I can promise nothing. Ooh, spooky! But I could have killed you several times just since you've entered. If I wanted to, I would have already. It's just a handshake away. Also, that broccoli boy has some nerve. He said he would help me, and then he goes off and does his own thing. Doesn't listen to a word I say. He kind of pisses me off. I don't think we're going to get along very well. But I guess we'll find out later. On the next episode... Oh, sorry. I wasn't supposed to point that out, was I? Hey, take things seriously for once, won't you? Ah, serious is boring. Just like killing. It lost its flair years ago. <coughs> Amelia. Are you awake? <laughs> Oh, that's not good. She might be having a tad bit of an adverse reaction. Uh, we're gonna need more. More anti... Uh, whatever those things are called. Shigaraki, you better not have... <clears throat> whoa, whoa! Kurogiri, it's not like you to get upset. This is my daughter. You think I would not? I, I get it. You can be scary, I understand. I'll fix things. You just keep her company. Dad, is that really you? I am here, Amelia. I'm here. Oh, Dad, it's been a difficult few years. And I halfway thought something had happened to you. No. I just... I needed to distance myself. Lest you get caught up in my... My... Responsibilities. You always were a workaholic, weren't you, Dad? I barely got to see you then. But when you disappeared, I thought the worst. I'm so glad that you're okay. Even if something happens to me. I love you, Daddy. Amelia, please, don't talk. Save your energy. Don't think like that. You're going to be just fine. I may not know you too well, but 
Don't give up. You got a pretty amazing dad. It's not every day that you get to meet someone as cool as him. Yeah. You're right. Amelia, what's wrong? What's going on? You must be okay. You need to be okay. Out of the way! This is important! <clears throat> Doesn't look good! Give me that apparatus over there. I'm on it! Alright! Do chest compressions! Every three seconds. One, two, three. Not good. She's gone into cardiac arrest. All right. Let's just up the ante then. I'm gonna try something. And if it doesn't work, I don't... I don't know how to fix it. But if it works, you can thank me later. What was that, Shigaraki? It's just a little experiment of mine. It's the only thing that could save her at this point. She's lost too much blood. And you all, having a merry little conversation. That's not what you need to do. Not when someone's in that condition. Every second counts. Do you get it? So now, this is our last choice. If she survives, I can't promise what it will do to her. I understand. But she rocky. Just know. I cannot say it. I owe you far too much. Yeah, yeah. Pay me later. If things work out, you'll owe me one. All of you. Bakugo, get over here. I won't say it again, unless you'd like me to give you a hand. I'm not in the best of moods, and I'm only helping right now, because, well, I wish I could say. Maybe I'm feeling giving today. Somebody's birthday somewhere. This is a special case. Next time, things won't be like this. And you'll owe me something. Someday. All of you. Don't forget that. I will never forget it. Yeah, yeah. You duty-bound types are all the same. Why don't you put a sock in it? Now, we wait and see. We've got a pulse. It seems to be working, but there's no telling. Hopefully it doesn't have the same effect as Project Alpha. What does that mean? I don't know if I trust that. Yeah, you'd be right to doubt it. Unless you like guts flying all over the room. It was such a mess to clean up. Ah, don't even get me started. And if you actually care about the person, it's even worse. It really ruined my mood. No, get back. That's a good sign. It's not... a great one. But she's breathing again. It's labored, so there's something still... I see what it is. Alright, 
This is going to be a long night. Prepare yourselves. We're undergoing surgery. We gotta get that bullet out. Daddy, you better hold her hand. She's gonna be in a lot of pain. Understood, Shigaraki. Amelia, I'm here with you. Bakugo, get over here. Because I have limitations on what I can hold. You're going to be assisting me. Now shape up. Yeah, understood. Just don't accidentally grab me or something. Trust me, if I wanted to, I'd shut you up like that a long time ago. Scalpel! Give it to me. Mm. The sutures. And then... The expander. Mm. It's in there pretty deep. This is going to be difficult. I'm going to try and disintegrate it. It's risky, but we don't have a choice. Hmm. There we are. Good as new. Now we just need to patch everything up. The shot I gave her earlier. The alpha type virus. It's exponentially increasing her recovery. But we have to be careful. If it goes too much, she'll get a cancerous overgrowth and, well, it'll be horrible. Remember the part I mentioned about people blowing up? Yeah, let's just hope she's got a better immune system. Amelia. My heart, my soul aches for your pain. I wish I could take it upon myself. Don't get all sentimental on me. What good are you if you're getting all teary? If you're not strong for her, she'll never respect you as a father. Some of us are only so lucky. Now, would you all just get out of my house already? I don't have time for this. Leave her here. I promise I won't do anything. Dad, you stay, but the rest, you two, get out of here. Girl Geary, just get them out someplace. To both of you, I owe you a great deal. If not, my dear Amelia would be in even worse conditions. And to think, ally turning on ally. And it may be coming friends. What a strange time we live in. Tomorrow, Shigaraki. I must rely upon you again. Don't worry about it. We were buddies before. I'm sure we can be buddies again. As for you, Bakugo. I want to see what you're really made of. Show it to me. Show me why heroes exist. Prove something to me. Yeah, you bet I will. I don't even know what you're talking about, but... I'll make sure I live up to every expectation. Just you wait. May you have safe travels. Nah, can you believe this? Today, if it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, wait. Look behind us, the portal opened again. 
I almost forgot to give you this. It's pills. You can take them if you want. They'll help you heal faster. And maybe even give you a new power. You never know. I guess I'll think about it. Anyways, toodles. You two have a good night. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I... Do you think he... Maybe he saw how I was looking at you. I mean... In the hospital, I had to... Well, I missed you, so... I can't believe I'm explaining this. Damn it, damn it, damn it! I shouldn't have to explain this to you, dumbass. But Deku got me good. It still hurts. Look at it. I'm a mess. Somehow I've been getting along all this time. On adrenaline and... I think I'll try taking those pills. Um... Whoa! Look at it. Even the bruising's going away. That's Shigaraki. He's something else sometimes, isn't he? Now if only he was on our side. Actually, I don't know whose side he's on. Just like Deku. That damn Deku. Sometimes I wonder if he's the real one. Or if he's just some kind of fake. I don't understand the world anymore. So many things I thought I understood. They all keep blowing up in my face. Damn it. Come on. Let's go home. Didn't I tell you? Dumbass. I got us a new place. This one is safer than before. And it's nearby... Kirishima's hospital. Yeah, laugh it up. I just wanted to check on him too. He's been out for a while now. It's no good. But I just can't shake the feeling. Why was Aizawa? Was that even Aizawa? Ever since the Todoroki incident, it got in my head. It almost seemed like he didn't think we were us. So then, what about that Aizawa? He definitely had the quirk, but does that mean... Ugh! Damn it! Can't wrap my head around all this! Let's just get home. I want to relax with you. And maybe get your mind off of it, too. <laughs> Dumbass. No, it's not. It doesn't always have to be that, dumbass. I mean, I'm not opposed to the idea. It's just embarrassing, okay? After all the things we've done, I'm sure you understand why. Making me explain that. Yeah, you're the dumbass, dumbass. What? You... You dared to call me a dumbass? I can't believe you. Oh, you've got guts, don't you? Pissing me off on a dude like this? Well, I'm gonna show you something once we get back. I don't think you'll like it. Maybe you will. After all... I don't think you have the capacity to not like something that your husband does to you. Tell me I'm wrong and look me in the eyes. Oh, that's right. You can't. Such a pushover. You call me dumbass and the next minute you're just putty in my hand. What am I supposed to think of you then, huh? You dumbass. <laughs> but you're a mighty fun dumbass to tease. So don't go changing. 
You're the one thing in this world I don't want to change. Maybe there's some things I wish didn't. But you're the one thing I have faith won't. So you better stick by me. Be the person that... That... You've always been to me. I believe in you, you know. So come here. You dumbass. Yeah, what? So, I kissed you. It's not that embarrassing. Just because I'm blushing doesn't mean I'm embarrassed, dumbass. I probably just have a fever from the pills. Who knows what Shigaraki put in this? At least I didn't die. Yet. If I die, you go right up to Shigaraki and kill him for me. Yeah. I don't plan on dying. There's no medicine in this world that could take me out. Put me through any test. Hmm. Wait a second. That's not a bad idea. Let's put you through some tests tonight. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah, fine. Uh, I guess I was a little upfront with it, but I, I wasn't even talking about just that dumbass. Where's your mind? <sighs> Making me go nervous like this. You're gonna pay for that. Mark my words. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. It just. <laughs> Damn it! You're making me laugh like this. Ugh. Can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's with that? You're not playing fair, are you? <laughs> Damn it! Why are you always gonna play dirty like that? How do you like the new place, anyways? Here we have... The dining room? I like the kitchen personally. As you know, I'm great at everything, including cooking. Here's the bedroom. Oh, we'll see this later. And don't forget this. The, uh... Game room, theater, basement, training room, and of course the bowling alley. Yeah, so what if it's extravagant? We deserve it. I deserve it. And I don't know if you deserve it after that tickling incident. After you made me wear them cat ears and tail. Make me say nya. Why wasn't it at least meow? Or something cool like that. You had to go the full nine yards, eh? Well, the tables have turned. <laughs> I had this trap door built in just for you. Now, you can't come out of there until you put on that outfit. What's the matter, dumbass? Can't take it when the tables are turned. Now I get to watch you suffer for a bit. So, are you going to appease your master? You're my kitty servant tonight. Yeah, so what? Just get dressed, I'll look away. Tch. I'm your husband, so it doesn't matter, dumbass. What are you doing getting embarrassed now? You're making me feel embarrassed, damn it. Just put on the outfit already. Before I lose my cool. I mean it. You don't want to make me angry. That's what I thought. Now just get the outfit on already. <laughs> Should have just done that from the start, dumbass. Let me know when you're dressed. I want to see it. Uh, um, that's not my fault. It, 
it came that way, I... Why do you got that smile? Fine, I'll lift the trap door up. Whoa. I... I'm not embarrassed, dumbass. It's just... You look... Kind of stunning. As a kitty servant, so... Um... Oh. I feel a little bit... The. It's nothing, dumbass. I'm fine. Uh, you... You're to blame for this. So... So... I'll show you who's boss. Dumbass. Yeah, you guessed it. Now I'm gonna tickle you. <laughs> Revenge for making me laugh earlier. <laughs> Yeah, get over here. <laughs> it's a command so you can't run. How about that? Give me those footies. I won't ask nicely next time. Dumbass. <laughs> well, fine. Suit yourself. I'll just play a game of... Chase down the servant. <laughs> Get back here, you! I gotta show you something really cool, too. You see, I'm a new man. One that knows how to have more mystery and surprises. Wouldn't you say I'm mysterious, baby? What do you mean? I'm not literal, dumbass. I'm mysterious and cool. You look like you're doubting me. But I guess maybe I am kind of blunt. Eh, who cares? I like it that way. So fine. Maybe I'm not like that. But at least you know exactly what to expect. And what you'll get out of it. My undying love, you can check that off your bucket list. For now, I just want to appreciate you. Make sure that you're okay. I don't like to just make it physical and forget about everything. But I feel like sometimes that's how it's been. Hey, dumbass. I... I love you. And I want you to love yourself, too. Do you know how hard it is? Sometimes... Holding back... When you say something that pisses me off. No, not about me, dumbass. About yourself. Have faith in yourself. If I didn't love you... And believe in you... Then why the hell would I still be around? Why would I be your husband right now? So if you think that your looks aren't good enough, or that you're not good enough in some way, then you're full of it. And I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna put up with that. So you better appreciate yourself. If you're gonna be with me, if you're gonna be my life partner, then you're gonna have to buck up. No more bad thoughts about yourself, and when you think them, you come to me, and you listen to this. You listen to my words. You're amazing. And no matter what happens, it's gonna be okay. I'll make sure of it. You're worth all this. But I need to hear you admit it. What's that I couldn't hear you? Over the sound of your insecurities. Yeah, so what? You're beautiful. Just the way you are. You don't need anything to make that change. Stop trying to change. Just be you. Dumbass. Why do you think I'm so amazing? It's because I don't try and be like others. I'm not some wimpy weakling who needs to empathize with others. I see things like I do. 
And I do things that I want to. That I believe in. And that's why, no matter what happens, I want to see you trying. Don't give me the excuse that it's too hard. I'll get really pissed, because I used to be like you once. And I learned the hard way. That if I kept doing that, my entire life would pass me by. And I'm going to drag you along if I have to. I'll knock it into your thick skull, if that's what it takes. I, the great Bakugo, to stick with you until you consider yourself the great dumbass. Okay, maybe that came out wrong. <laughs> okay, I get it. But see, even I make mistakes, sometimes. You gotta accept that you make mistakes too. You're human, and you're a damn good one at that. So stop trying to blame yourself, and if you need to rely on someone, rely on that beautiful person in front of me. Or rely on me if you have to. But someday, no matter what happens, whether it be me, or someone else, or a mirror staring you back, I want you to be able to say, I love myself. I'm a good person. And I deserve happiness. With that said, you have to work for that sometimes. No, all the time, actually. Happiness isn't meant to be easy. If it was, nobody would appreciate it. It wouldn't be true happiness. Dumbass. You of all people should know that. With all the things we've been through, haven't you realized it's only made us stronger? Happier? If we didn't have that, who knows what would have happened? We might have gotten tired of each other, but we'll never know. What we do know is that we got each other, damn it. And even if all the other bastards out in the world don't believe in us or hate us or anything, then so what? We'll tell them how it is. I'll kick their ass, if that's what it takes. Just like I'm gonna kick Deku's ass, until he sees that he's wrong. Until he returns to being the stupid Deku he is. <laughs> and I feel stupid just talking about it. But I don't want you to become like Deku and doubt yourself, doubt your friends, doubt anything like that. But don't you dare doubt me, or yourself. That's all there is to it, dumbass. We're in this together, so... So just get it through your thick skull already. Damn it. And I love you, so... I want you to be able to smile for real. Not just those smiles you put on for others. Stop doing that. If you're not actually smiling, don't smile. Don't fake anything. Not now, not ever. You hear me? Never fake it. Never fake anything. If you're gonna be real with me, then I wanna be real with you. I wanna be with you forever, dumbass. That requires you loving yourself too. You can't say you love me if you don't love yourself. So just... Just... Don't give up on being happy. You deserve it, damn it.